very long time ago, on an icy, cold winter's night. Just like tonight. Perfect for mischief, if you happen to be king of the hobgoblins. <laughs> With a plan to make a magnificent magic mirror. <laughs> which will bring misery and misfortune to good, kind people the world over. <laughs> and what did the Hobgoblin King do with this mirror he had made? <laughs> the magic mirror was shattered into hundreds of millions of tiny fragments. They were born on the four winds and scattered all over the world causing unhappiness in every land. For when one of these tiny shards of mirror lodged in a person's eye, oh. Oh. <laughs> she could only see the worst side of everything she looked at. Even the tiniest sliver exerted the same magical power as the whole mirror would have done. Some unfortunate people even got a fragment in their heart. Oh. Oh. These tiny mirror fragments drifted on the air for years to come. And now, you shall hear what happened with just one or two of them. In large towns, most people have only a few flower pots for a garden. But here lived two poor children who had something much better. Kai and Gerda were not brother and sister, but they loved each other just as much. Summer and autumn, they could be together with one little hop from their windows. But winter was a different story. <laughs> oh, no more jigsaws, Kai. You always finish them before I've had a chance to get started. Sorry, Gerda. Can't help it. I'm just good at puzzles, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's not fair, Grandma. It's almost like the snow wants to stop me and Gerda playing in our garden. Ah, yes. 
Those old snow bees are awful spoil sports when they're swarming. Snow bees, Grandma? Do they have a queen like honeybees do? Oh, of course they do, dear. Right in the thick of the swarm she flies. And the snow bees swarm round her because the coldness of her heart stops them melting when uh, spring arrives. Have you ever seen her, Grandma? Well, come midnight. She often flies through the streets of the town, looking in through the windows. Her gaze is so cold, it can turn a person's breath to ice on the inside of their window. The, the Snow Queen couldn't get in here, could she? No, oh, I shouldn't think so, dear. It's far too toasty warm for her. <laughs> I'd like to see her try, Gerda, because if she did, I'd protect you. Oh. I'd push her on the stove and then she'd melt. Oh, you don't want to do that, Kai, dear. You might make a cross. And if the Snow Queen got a cross... mind to go and tell that Kai what's what. Oh, me too. You? Yeah. Go on then. No, 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 I meant me too. I've only half a mind. Just like you. Oh. I don't understand. Why would Kai be so mean to me? But it was the speck of glass in his eye and the coldness in his heart that made him behave like this. Autumn came round, and Kai's behaved worse. 
Oh, oh. Look, Grandma, I'm all rickety and old. Just like you. <laughs> Please, Kai, give me my spectacles back. You know I can't see without them. Oh, Kai's poor Grandma. That's the worst thing he's done so far. Oh, no. That was nothing like her. No. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's just as not like him, Grandma. Maybe Kai thinks he's being grown up, dear. Some boys get like that. No, there's something very wrong with him. I just know there is. First time I've ever looked forward to leaving our lovely garden for the winter. That Kai has really lowered the tone of the neighborhood. Oh, I know. <coughs> no. By the time winter came along, Kai'd hardly any time for Gerda at all. <coughs> What's happened to you, Kai? You've hardly spoken to me since that day in summer, in our little rose garden. Well, I've got new friends now, and I don't like flowers anymore. They're messy and unmathematical. All right? <laughs> unmathematical? Oh, I'll explain it for you simply, shall I? You see, regular and orderly, in every detail. Perfect, like the Snow Queen herself. Compared with this, roses are just, well, ugly and untidy. Oh, hey, come on. Anyway, we're going sledging now in the Great Square. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's a sledge! Woo! Yeah, dare you to have gone to that one. Huh. Go for it, Kai! Huh. <laughs> hey, you little hooligan! Hey, mister! Slow down! Within minutes, they had reached the town gates. Stop! Let me off! No use! Frozen solid! No! Please! Before long, night had fallen, and Kai had no idea where he was anymore. Looking forward to making your acquaintance. For you are very much a child after my own heart. Oh, oh, yeah? And I can tell you and I are going to become the best of friends. We are? Oh, you're beautiful, Your Majesty. Like a snowflake. Perfect. <laughs> Mathematical. I, uh, I know all my times tables, Your Highness. Oh, and I can do fractions. Clever boy. And so the Snow Queen flew Kai to her palace of ice. Her kisses had made him forget all about home. 
And the hobgoblin laughed out loud to have caused so much upset. So the months and years passed. Gerda, please. It's time you accepted he's gone. Some of the townsfolk think he may have, well, fallen in the river. <laughs> oh, Grandma! I know, dear. Now, why don't you try on your birthday present? Hmm? See if they fit. Now, there, there, dear. <sighs> Dead and gone? I don't believe it. Uh, <laughs> me neither. You know what, Swallows? You're right. I think Kai is still alive. And I won't believe he's dead till I have proof. Thank you, Swallows. Thank you for giving me hope. <sighs> Poor little girl. I only said that to cheer her up. <sighs> me too. Whatever are you doing in that boat all alone, child? The mooring rope came loose, and now I'm caught on the current. Oh. <laughs> there you are, dear. Oh, safe and sound. <laughs> now you come inside and tell me all about yourself. little friend hasn't passed this way but if you stay here a while maybe he'll come by soon thank you but I should really keep on searching no no you stay here child for I have often wished for a little companion and you'll be happy living here with me 
We'll see. As the old woman smoothed her hair with the magic comb, Gerda began to forget all about Kai. For the old woman was a witch, and not a wicked one. She just wanted to keep Gerda because she was lonely. Look at all our lovely roses, Kai. Our lovely roses. Hmm. Roses, eh? Sorry, roses, but I can't have any of you reminding Gerda of home or her little friend Kai. So, back under the ground you go. Please, I'll make it up to all of you later. Fresh horse manure every week. Works every time. Hmm, it's strange. I've been here weeks now. But I still can't help feeling there's something missing. Now why should that be? Oh, why? I remember now. That's a rose. Yes, that's it. There aren't any roses in this garden. But why not? And, and why do I feel so sad all of a sudden? <laughs> And suddenly, the old woman's spell was broken. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Kai! I forgot all about searching for Kai! What happened? Oh, I see now. Bad old lady. Listen. You've all been under the earth. You, you didn't see my friend Kai there, did you? Oh, thank goodness. Then he's still alive. I'd better get going. Straight away. I thought you roses and I had a deal. <gasps> Please, don't, don't leave me, Gerd. I was just lonely. I didn't mean any harm. So Gerda ran, and all the time she had whiled away in the magic garden, finally caught up with her. She was now 13 years old. Gerda fell asleep in the snow. All she wanted to do was dream of Kai. For in her dreams, he didn't seem so far away. Goblin nearly laughed himself inside out to have caused such misfortune. Next, I'll tell you what eventually became of poor little Gerda and her beloved friend Kai. Now, now, don't look so worried. Everything turns out as it should in the end. But that's for next time. 
Until then. <laughs>